How's it going, everyone? Yo, it's your Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video. And ladies and gentlemen, we have something rather interesting to talk about in regards to Twitch. We ourselves an article on Dexerdo that is titled, Twitch bans with no reason could be made unlawful by court. This right here sounds hella interesting, so let's see what we have here. A California court will rule on Twitch's ban policy, as Twitch could be forced to more clearly define its reasons for suspensions for streamers. Stemming from a lawsuit filed against Twitch by streamer James Phantom Ward Vargas, he has now filed a request to a court in California to enforce Twitch to change how it hands out bans. Phantom Ward won the initial court case, netting him $20,000 in the process, but he and his lawyers are pushing the case forward, demanding Twitch make changes to its policies regarding how it handles its partnered streamers particularly. The streaming platform has been criticized for some of its bans, both for inconsistency and lack of clarity. Phantom Lord has claimed that Twitch has a secret strike guide for deciding bans. The most important request from Phantom Lord's lawyers is that Twitch cannot permanently or indefinitely suspend partners without providing notice of the reason for the suspension and an opportunity to cure the alleged wrongdoing. The judge's ruling on this request could change how the biggest streaming website on the internet conducts its business. The full list of seven requests made by Phantom Lord's team. Number one, Twitch must lift the suspension of Vargas' Twitch account at www.twitch.tv slash phantomlord. Number two, Twitch must develop and make available to partners a written policy regulating its discipline of partners. The policy must include rules governing a when and how account managers notify partners of rule violations and b what criteria or context Twitch uses to determine when to permanently or indefinitely suspend partners, including mitigating factors. Number three, Twitch cannot send notices of permanent or indefinite suspensions to partners that list the reason for the suspension as quote unquote other terms of service violation or other similar language that does not adequately convey the reason that Twitch suspended the partner. Twitch must include the text of the applicable rule and or strike guide entry for each such notice. Number four, Twitch cannot permanently or indefinitely suspend partners without providing notice of the reason for the suspension and an opportunity to cure the alleged wrongdoing. Number five, Twitch cannot permanently or indefinitely suspend partners for any reason not listed in the partner's partnership agreement. Number six, Twitch must cease enforcing the $50,000 limitation on liability included in section 8.4 of Vargas Partnership partnership agreement to the extent this limitation on liability exists in other partnership agreements. And number seven, Twitch must require that partners scroll through any amendments or modifications to its terms of service and click a button affirming that they have read the amendments or modifications and agree to them before the partners may use the Twitch service. If Twitch were forced to give a more publicly detailed guideline for what type of behavior it will ban and account for, it could be a huge win for streamers who claim they've been banned for vague reasons or no reason at all. The most infamous Twitch ban is Dr. Disrespect, whose reason for being banned was never publicly revealed. The doc himself maintains he also does not know the reason. If the court rules in favor of Phantom Lord's request, it could reopen cases for streamers who had previously been banned. It is also possible that Dr. Disrespect could return to the platform or at the very least bring some public clarity to the situation. For streamers on the platform now, it could ensure that they cannot be given unclear reasons for bans such as quote unquote other TOS violations. Okay, so now that we have ourselves the context out in the open, it's time for my thoughts on this and really the best thing that I can say here is that I would be 100% on board with this should this ever be a thing for Twitch in the future. Why? Well, let me ask you a better question. Why the heck not? Because think of it like this. 
What we have here would be something that, in my honest opinion, would turn Twitch around basically a 180. Like, we would be seeing a massive-ass redemption arc when it comes to the platform in terms of its reputation and other factors. Like, not only would it be a requirement for Twitch to have, I don't know, better communication, but also you would have a much better understanding on what the policies and the terms of service are, and also, if you were to get punished in any way, shape, and form, Twitch would have to give you a solid, concrete, detailed reason why you got punished, rather than some vague bullshit that doesn't really solve anything, and you would also have a chance to right that wrong that you did. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if something like this was to actually be a thing in the future of Twitch, it would be a win-win-win for everybody up and down the boards. And I would even go as far as to say that I would even think about making a Twitch account on there and, you know, start doing some live streams on there, you know, see what the platform would be really all about with the new improvements that would take place in this scenario. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I can't really think of anything more to say, really, without either stating the obvious or repeating myself so I'm going to end the video off here and ask you guys for your feedback what do you guys think about what it is we talked about here in this video what are your guys' thoughts and opinions do you agree do you disagree let me know in the comments down below guys you know I always love to hear you guys out thank you guys for watching thank you for your time have yourself a damn good one and as always I'll see you guys in the next video